Welcome to another episode of Let's Plant Recap. I still have no intro, so time check. It's now 1.52 in the morning. And like last time, I'm doing this when everyone else is asleep. It is my Friday night, Saturday morning. Yesterday was the 1st of June, and June is the start of the winter in the Southern Hemisphere. And checking my weather app, it, it tells me that it's actually 3.3 degrees Celsius right now, and it feels like negative. 0.3 degrees. You could probably see the fog as I speak. Hello, hello, hello. You might also be wondering what's the deal with all of these plants in front of me. I harvested all of them earlier this afternoon and I'm drying them up right now because it has been raining earlier this week and at the same time I intend to send them to someone else on Monday. Hmm. Yes, this is a sale, but I've been talking with these people as early as summer, so they've been waiting for quite a while. I've been trying to stall it, push it as far as I can go, mainly because I, I don't really have the time to sort through my plants. And the other reason is that, I think I mentioned it in a, in a previous episode, but a lot of them got sunburnt or infested with aph aphids and mealybugs. So I needed a bit of time for them to recover and this ones have recovered. And before anyone asks, I'm not yet ready but but as soon as I am, I'm going to make an announcement or at least make a post or list it mainly on my website, seriscapades.com but I'll also make the announcement on my Facebook I guess. For now, I'm just focusing on getting rid of my backlogs of orders before I open to more, before I take in more orders. And and as you know, this for me is just a hobby. I'm not a, I'm not a nursery. I'm not a, I do not, I don't grow this commercially. So I do not have the means nor the resources to maintain a full scale operation. This means that I only have plants for sale once in a while, not always. And I hope this does not get your hopes up too much. You can't expect too much from me. But anyway, I do intend to sell slowly. I'll be rolling it out slowly. So stay tuned for more information, for more news about this over the coming weeks or months. Who knows? Right now, I'm feeling that it will take me quite a while before my other, uh, my other propagations become ready. Especially now that it's winter and I mainly grow echeverias, they are dormant right now, which means that they won't be growing much. But who knows, maybe they might be ready in a week, in a month, we'll see. And another note, I only sell to select states in Australia, those that are not biosecurity restricted, those that are not affected by the quarantine. So I'm sorry for everyone else who don't fall into that area. Again, I do not have the resources to send overseas, even if you pay me for that. And this is for many reasons, but my primary reason is that I do not want the plants to die in transit. Or worse, be held up in customs in your country. So we're going to waste both of our time. So I'm just going to go with something safe for now, and that's doing it local. Anyway, moving on. This is a let's plant recap and not a let's sell. <laughs> so let's go to the comments. First of all, I'm going to have a look at the previous recap because there has been quite a, quite a few comments in there. Lots of discussions around. First comment is from Sandy Shirley saying, I love this type of video from you. Perhaps you could do a Q&A perhaps you could do a Q&A video answering questions from your viewers. Actually, I do have a series. I I have a playlist called aptly called Q&A and I've already started answering a few questions before. So I think that's a good start, but maybe a compendium, a Q&A, dedicated Q&A video might be nice, as Sandy is suggesting, so I'll, I'll look into doing something like that in the near future. Oh, and there's a question in here, another question in here, about how I ended up in Australia from the Philippines. I partially answered that question in episode 4 in the succulent tag video, I think. I remember adding a segment there about uh, meeting my wife and that's how I found out about succulents because her bridal bouquet 
had the uh, it had this imbricata looks something like this and it was massive <laughs> so i guess it, la it it left a lasting impression on me but the question was how i ended up in australia from the philippines well my wife she is a registered nurse she's she has been here since 2009 so when we got married i i migrated here i had to move here that's the short version of it <laughs> Next comment is from in him Penta7 saying good idea because we get that tingly feeling when youtuber posts something about a comment we made. Hmm. I'm sure you've thought about it if not done it, but I wonder if a season recap would be good. Yeah. Uh, my first year of doing Let's Plant is coming up soon. It would be sometime in either August or September. So, I think uh, a year ender or a full year, an anniversary, yeah, anniversary was the word I was looking for, an anniversary episode of the recap, no, an anniversary episode, a recap of the anniversary episode would be great. And in that episode, I'll be, yeah, as, as you were suggesting, I'll be looking at past episodes and reflect on how much things have changed since I started doing this vlog. Next question is from the Dub Rose One saying, Great video, Chuck. You're like the Wikipedia of succulents. <laughs> Would love you to do a QA. Mm, same as Sandy. My question would have to be how to read the dreaded how to read the dreaded mealy bug. Well, I, I, I did answer this question in the comments and my, my answer was that it's something that I'm also figure out, figuring out right now because I've been trying various stuff and Frank here of Always Growing Vlogs kindly provided an answer, a very comprehensive answer. So I highly recommend that you look at it and I think I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you've already seen his reply because you would get a notification for it. But for everyone else, uh, Frank has made a very good write-up here about combating melee bugs. I might have to seek his permission to publishing this or at least making a, a work, a video about this. And unless he decides to make a video himself, and in which case I could just link to his video. We'll see. I'll have that discussion with him. Next is from Senpai Catman Gamin. Two comments. The first one is saying, the first one is, I really love watching your video. Very informative. Thank you. The next is, by the way, I am from Mindanao, Philippines. Very good coincidence because I am also from Mindanao, Philippines. And according to Senpai, he or she is from Mantikao, Misamis Oriental. I was originally from Zamboanga City, the western tip small world. Zany Zana 66 Hi Chuck, could you please talk about where you get the majority of your plants? If there's a consistent place you recommend or have you done that with MLD succulents and the other place you visited? This is a good idea for a video. I'm going to work on it at some point in the future, maybe later this month, depending on when I would have the time to film it. I like the idea though. From Aneta S. Wow, my comments was there. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. Thanks for all your answers. And yes, we watch your videos till the end. Thank you for that. Maybe one day you will show us things behind the scenes as a bonus, of course. And I'm sure it will be funny moments of a succulent gardener life. P.S. My Senecio Horthy is back to life. So thanks for a helpful advice on it. See you in the next episode. Thank you so much, Aneta. About the behind the scenes, I've been toying with the idea for quite a while now. Because I'm in this small group where we are all YouTubers with various genres, various channels. And a lot of them have been doing live, live streams. And they're doing really great. I feel a bit envious about it. Because they're killing it, they're smashing it with their live streams. and. Maybe I could get in on that action 
the problem is I'll be doing it on my own. I'm a bit shy to involve my wife. And besides, if both of us are filming, then nobody would be watching over the kids unless we... Unless I wear Nikki and Zach would be in the garden as well. Yeah, I guess it could work. We'll see. I'll be I'll play around with the idea. See if I can do it. But yes. Maybe even doing this live would be a good idea, but it just depends on the time. With the, with regards to live streams, majority of my audience is from the USA. The next largest group would be from here in Australia and third would be I can't remember if it was from the Philippines or the UK I think it was the Philippines so I would need to find a time zone that works for me and for everyone else and potentially that would be sometime Saturday during noon time or right before my noon time that means that would be Friday night in the US and Saturday morning in the Philippines I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I can't commit to this yet, but it might be something fun to do once in a while. Yeah, we'll get there. Last comment here is from Jaya F saying, Hey Chuck, you use the kids for shoveling later. That's what kids are for. <laughs> yeah, a few years from now, Zach is still too young. Everyone is right. This is your calling. So great for us all to learn these plants along with you. Everyone appreciates how much work you do for us. I make my own cement pots. Look at Hyper Tufa. I mix perlite with cement and sand. Keeps them lighter. You can get a big bag of perlite cheap at agricultural suppliers. Yes, I would like to get into that sometime. Creating cement pots. I'll have to watch a bunch of videos or just study how it's done. I know how to work cement, but getting the technique and getting the pots I have no experience with that so this sounds fun and that's all the comments from the previous recap now it's time for episode 70 it's quite cold out here though maybe we should do this inside the house at least it would be warmer away from the cold at last this is so much better I hope you don't mind the echoes that I'm filming indoors and I have to speak a little bit softer otherwise I risk waking everyone else. Alright, episode 70. From Tonti Vergara. Nice pickups, Chuck. Are they from the markets? I'm particularly curious about the cameo. Looks great when it matures. I got it from a collector friend. <laughs> Sorry. From Tammy Finch, lots of powdered sugar and brown sugar on Bing. Actually, that's that's how I found out about this, about the name. Well, on a Google web search. From all these growing blogs. He's also noticing a huge drop in free space. Good to see your apprentice is exhibiting such joy and enthusiasm for the outdoors too. I wonder what you, those huge pots are for. Hmm. You'll find out next episode. From Muna Nabankema. Hi Chuck. From Muna Nabankema. Kema. Kima. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Bunnings has nothing close to your collection when it comes to succulents. Your plants are so loved. I'm in Brisbane and interested in buying some echeveras from you. Would you have any extras for sale? Yes, but not now. I'll be posting them in the near future, so stay tuned. From in him Penta7, have you ever done a video showing how you put together the dish garden scene at 1750? Or show the close up or show the close up of it. That looks nice. When I made when I made that bowl, I was I wasn't filming this vlog yet, <clears throat> so I mainly had uh, a series of image posts, text image posts about it. So I'll put the link down in the description. From Jaya F. <coughs> oh heavens, Zach will really be a gardener. Hello.
sorry for the abrupt transition there it's now morning and I had to end it last night because my wife called me from bed saying telling me that Zach was waking up and she was having a hard time getting him back to sleep so I had to go back in bed she wouldn't stop crying so I had to take her out with me hi Nikki anyway the next message is from Jaya F saying, Oh heavens, Zach will really be a gardener. LOL. I really was impressed with your sleeping baby variety. Where was it? Somewhere there. Gorgeous. If you ever hybridize a new Echeveria, call it sleeping baby. You're the sleeping baby. I love that blooming crashula. Fantastic. The rocks are great. I just bought some like that to do rock ribbons. Yes, I love Tuscan rock. I spy the grage terracotta. I've been window wishing for those. You know, I actually had to look up what grage meant. <laughs> Apparently, it's gray and beige, a mix. Hmm, new word. And finally, from Zanizana66, it's funny that you talk about beheading your Aeonium while you yourself were headless in the frame. <laughs> yeah. Zach is really enjoying the garden with you, and the baby is the cutest thing. You're the cutest thing. It's lovely to have them feature in your videos. Thank you so much, Zana. And finally, here's some comments from various videos within the past day or so. First one is from Sushi at uh, Herrera saying, Love your gardens and your collection of succulents. When and how did your love of succulents started? I'm just curious. Thanks for all your tips and sharing your garden. Love your videos. Well, I I think I answered this earlier, but anyway, <clears throat> you could have a look at episode 40 for the tag questions. Succulent tag video. Yep. I answered it. I answered this very question right there. Three messages from Albert Young. Among the people which makes videos about succulents, you are the best for me. Thank you. You have a very good knowledge of plants and gives use, useful information too. Thank you. Please keep it up. God bless you and your family. Thank you so much. I'll definitely be doing that. Next. Your son is very well behaved for his age. Some boys of his age is so hyper the parents cannot do anything to stop them. I am sure his interest in succulents will be aroused when he grows up because he keeps seeing your love for them. I also like the way you motivate Zachary. Congratulations. And finally, Zachary, do not mess with his father's works. Admirable boy. Well behaved. Well, I think Zach is a lot like me in the way that as, as soon as I am focused, it's so hard to get me to be distracted with other things. Watering the plants is his favorite thing. So I just taught him how to properly work the pump and off he went. I think we're about done with the questions and I'm already dressed. Let's get ready to plant. Say bye, Nikki. Bye. <laughs>